content and how can we show the quality of, uh, of the work what we are doing. And in this moment I use or, or use the framework of uh, Arte para la Motivación. Uh, so what, what can we share with you? Um, we recently started to, if we talk about motivation, we recently we started to talk about or think about the, the theory of flow, if, you, if it means something for you. I'll just look around. Uh, psychology. Michael Cheek sent me hi. <laughs> flow. <laughs> okay. Uh, just make it very simple. If, if I make a, a chart, and this part of the chart is the difficulty of the task, what you have to do, and this part of the chart is the competency that you have. Basically, it turns out that when the, the, the task is too difficult and you have very low competences, then it becomes very stressful and very nervous. If your competency is too much and, and the task is too easy, then, then it's first very annoying, then it becomes stressful too. So the optimal is this line, basically, where there's a wave, it's a continuous challenging and a continuous inspiring yourself with more and more difficult things and then making a little bit of practice and gaining competence, then a little bit more of, of, uh, of difficulty, then a little bit of practice. So it becomes a kind of wave that goes up and this is what we call the flow. And, and what we try to, to, to follow uh, with this idea or what we try to give is to how to provide children and also teachers this state of the flow, uh, this state of, of really joy of development that they feel really good and they want to follow this direction. And another psychological uh, trend recently or developed in the 70s, 80s is the self determinating uh, direction, <laughs> which is three pillars, that they said that for this kind of motivated state, we have three basic nutrition that we have to have, each individual. And these three basic nutritions are the, the feeling of competency, so that I feel that I know something and the outside world is giving feedback to me that yes, Andor, you are good in it. And this kind of feeling is the feeling of competency that, okay, I'm good in it. So this is one very important thing. Um, that's why it's so important to give feedback and to give positive or constructive feedback to the others. Uh, just like we try to do with our children. Uh, the second nutrition is the belonging to somewhere. So to be part of something, or, or to be part of a group, or be part of a project, or be part of a, a game, or whatsoever. Just be part of something which gives me an identity, that I'm, I'm the one who is part of that thing. So this kind of uh, belonging is another very important pillar. And the third one is the, the, the perception of autonomy. That the things, what happened to my life, it's in my hands, so I can influence my own, influence my own fate. Uh, I, I can do something for myself. And if I can combine it with the feeling of competency, and it's even stronger. So if we can provide these three basic nutritions uh, to our children, therapist, uh, singing, uh, singing and moving, so uses the voice and uses the body, me, myself, Lots of you know me from for ages. I'm I'm from the theatre world, and I have my skills and tools from theatrical background. And and Shando, who is uh, a protagonist of our uh, ed, uh, teachers' trainings, uh, because and, and hopefully you will see him also in Budapest when when we meet again. That that he's a he's an expert of uh, experimental education. Yes. That's that's the proper name for that which is especially useful if we think about the, the nutritions, uh, the nutritions especially for the, uh, for the competencies and for the, for the autonomy also and also for the, uh, actually for the belonging because usually what he does is to force, to provoke the groups, mainly teachers, pedagogues, to work as a group and to realize that, that the solution and or even the rules depends on them. 
so they, they can live that moment, that they can create the rules, they can influence the outcome of the games, there are no fixed uh, ways of, of solutions, but it depends really on the creativity and on the input what they do. And, uh, and that's why it's called e experimental education, because the focus, the real focus is not on the theory, but on the doing. So you do it, and you go through a process, actually that's what he's going to do with us today, is that always when you have a process and, and you have a starting point, point and the finalizing point, and you have to go through a certain percussion, how, how do you say it, process? Yeah, you have to go through a, spe a specific process, then it's a must that you communicate with others, then you have discovery yourself, that you realize that you're influencing your own uh, future, and, and you have to find the solutions yourself, and when you find it, you feel so satisfied and so happy, and you feel that you are in the flow wave, and, and you can feel it, okay, I made it. It was difficult, it was challenging, but I made it, and I had the competences to make it. So that's why it's important. Uh, another pillar uh, that we are focusing on is, uh, is how to feel things, how to, how to have a perception of being, of our bodies, of our voice, of the others in the space, and to discover that. And uh, what I'm going to represent today uh, is, is to give very specific uh, tools and learnings that, that they can take. So, reinforcing a little bit the competence. <coughs> I show you something, uh, here it is, this is how it works. You can learn it and you can take it with yourself. Still I have two minutes. Uh, so, that's what I wanted to say about the content and about the, the practical things. And, and for the last couple of minutes, I wanted to show you... <laughs> I wanted to show you a scheme that, that some of you know already, that goes back to 2000... <clears throat> it goes back to ages, but when we started to talk about this in 2014 in Bern, when we... Uh, when we um, distinguished several tasks and several uh, <coughs> themes and topics what the coordinators should work on uh, in, in general. One topic we had is the development of artists and teachers. And for that, last year in February, we had a meeting with Werner, with uh, uh, Patrice Wichers from Belgium, from, uh, with uh, Ulla Salomaki from Finland and myself. We had a meeting in, in Rome for a one day very intense and very productive meeting and we came to an idea of this Muse Academy which can be very much in sync of this seminar and of this training <coughs> series of trainings that we are having and so that's why it's a, it's a, it's a dream project if, if we can apply or we can combine these things together what is it about? We just, we just understood that to show quality difference and to prove for the world, which is a unique, unique selling point, USP, as they call it in the uh, business world, uh, we have to show our professionality and we have to show, we have to distinguish ourselves from the others. And for that, we need quality features. And one of the quality features is that why don't we have standards in the quality uh, in the, within the Muse program? And for that, we identified four. Uh, different pillars of this possibility. One was how we can train our teachers. What, what is our uh, inquiry or what is our request from our teachers and what we want our teachers to know and to be able to do and deliver in the classroom. So how we train our teachers. We've got several examples. I'm, I'm, I'm here here I'm, I'm very happy also for Spain that I know that you've got historically for Portugal, I, I know that you've got quite systematic and regular training course. Same thing in Hungary, uh, and we and we think that it's quite important to to put through the message of Muse also to the teachers. What is the second element? It's not in priority order. It's just uh, it's just uh, there like it is that we we ourselves need training and development in 
organization, in collaboration, in internal communication, in things how we can work better as a network. But again, this series of meetings can give us this opportunity and, and can, we can definitely use uh, these, uh, these meetings also for a certain development of uh, or for the coordinators. Yes. I had, I had something. Yes. Coordinator mean, doesn't not only mean the national coordinator. Mm -hmm. It's even more important the regional or local coordinator who is on the field. <coughs> because the conflict will start there. Yeah. So my idea here is to include Definitely. this this yeah. level of coordination definitely it's it's a it's a key absolutely of quality <laughs> because it's it's just if you, if we mention uh, Switzerland where you have the news project in several cantons then you have to face different situations in different cantons the local uh, coordinators have to have manager managerial real skill organizational <coughs> skills dealing with conflict situations in the classroom with the artists with the teachers and all these skills can be developed or